Long Beach, California, the year is 1967. A massive ship, once a symbol of luxury and opulence, arrives at the port. But this is no ordinary vessel. It's the Queen Mary, also known as the Grey Ghost, and it's bringing with it a legacy of terror, tragedy, and restless spirits. Welcome back to the Paranormal Lounge. In this special episode of Ghosts on Set, we'll take a deep dive into the dark past of this sinister ship, investigating the paranormal claims and notable ghost stories, as well as explore the movies filmed on its haunted decks and the ones yet to come. So grab your popcorn and hold on tight, because this is going to be a ride you won't forget. As a TV producer with a passion for the paranormal, I'll guide you through the dark corners of the Queen Mary, revealing the haunting stories and legends surrounding this spooky site. Stick around to the end to hear the story about the film crew that discovered a mummified corpse just a mile from the ship. The Queen Mary, once a proud luxury liner, now lies dormant, shrouded in a sinister veil of mystery and fear. It's dubbed one of the top 10 most haunted places on earth by Time Magazine. The Queen Mary's history is a captivating journey through time. Built in the 1930s as a premier luxury ocean liner, she set sail in 1936, quickly gaining acclaim for her lavishness and elegance. However, when World War II erupted, the Queen Mary underwent a transformative conversion into a troop ship, painted in camouflage colors and stripped of her luxurious amenities, earning the name the Grey Ghost. In 1942, the ship was thrust into a horrifying incident that sent shockwaves through its decks as she collided full speed with the ill-fated HMS Curacao, a British Navy cruiser that was split in half during the crash. As Alfred Johnson, a 22-year-old crewman on board the Queen Mary, described it, like slicing through a piece of butter. The collision had a profound and tragic impact, resulting in the loss of at least 239 lives on that fateful day, leaving an indelible mark of terror on all who witnessed it. Abel Enoch Foster, who was serving on the destroyer HMS Bramham during the rescue operation, provided a chilling account. The sea was covered in oil, dirty and black, with hundreds of heads with oily faces and panicky white eyes, mouths opening and closing like fish, some shouting for their mothers and help, others just choking with fuel oil in their lungs and dying. Despite the devastating tragedy, the Queen Mary perseveres, bearing the sorrow ingrained within its structure. Whispers and echoes haunt the dimly lit corridors, a solemn reminder of the sacrifices made during war. This majestic vessel embodies resilience and bravery, setting speed records and safely transporting over 750,000 servicemen and women. Its enduring legacy is a testament to unwavering courage in the face of formidable challenges. According to the ship's logs, there were also 55 documented onboard fatalities. However, the actual total number of deaths on board is much higher, as it wasn't always documented meticulously in death records. An analysis of the register reveals that among those who perished on board, 16 were crew members, while at least 41 were passengers. Most suffered from natural causes, although dreadfully shocking events did occur too. Instances where victims fell off into the deep seas or were unfortunately crushed by malfunctioning mechanical doors contribute to this discrepancy. The Queen Mary's reputation for paranormal activity is legendary, with countless reports of hair-raising experiences. Visitors and staff alike have reported seeing ghostly figures, hearing disembodied voices, and feelings of dread. Witnessing doors slamming shut with no apparent cause and experiencing a nauseating sense of vertigo. Unexplainable sudden knocking on doors and lights that flicker mysteriously are also quite common. It has been reported that ghostly apparitions of a firefighter who was crushed between the doors can often be seen. Frequently, visitors report hearing his screams of agony echoing through the ship. The longest ghost sighting ever reported at the location involved the ghost of a woman in a long dress. For a full 10 minutes, they stared in disbelief as a ghostly figure of a woman in a long dress sat in a chair, smiling at them, and it left them shaken to their core. The woman's apparition was so vivid they could see every detail of her dress and the expression on her face. It was as if she was really there, sitting in the chair, watching them. 
The encounter was just one of the many reported sightings of ghostly figures on the Queen Mary, a ship known for its long history of paranormal activity. The Queen Mary is also home to several famous ghosts, including Jackie, a little girl who haunts the swimming pool area, and Officer Stark, who tragically poisoned himself by consuming a cleaning liquid. In addition, the woman in white is also seen by the piano in the pool area and is believed to be the bride of a World War II soldier who never made it back. Now, the most haunted room on the ship is stateroom B340. Legend has it that a gruesome murder occurred and that the victim's spirit still lingers there. Guests who have stayed in the room have reported a chilling array of supernatural occurrences, starting with the sighting of a dark figure looming at the foot of their bed. Bathroom faucets turn on and off on their own, and unexplained doors slam shut in the dead of night. Some guests have even woken up to find their bed covers violently yanked off, or the curtains wide open, with no explanation in sight. Despite its macabre history, stateroom B340 can be rented starting at 500 a night. Are you brave enough to spend a night in this notoriously haunted room, where the lingering spirit of a murdered victim may be waiting for you? Throughout its long history, the Queen Mary has been a favorite destination for well-known individuals and elites, from former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill to iconic Hollywood actress Elizabeth Taylor, and influential musicians like the Rolling Stones. Countless notable figures have ventured aboard the ship's decks. The Queen Mary held a special place in the heart of Queen Elizabeth II due to its deep historical and traditional roots. In 1967, she had the privilege of christening Cunard Line's top-of-the-line ship Queen Mary II during an exclusive event aboard the original Queen Mary in Long Beach. Throughout her reign as a monarch, maritime traditions and ceremonies have always been a fascination for Her Majesty, resulting in multiple engagements with ocean liners throughout her leadership. Of all these experiences and connections though, it is Her Majesty's association with Cunard Line that stands out. The ship's passenger list included actors such as Audrey Hepburn, Marlon Brando, Bob Hope, John Wayne, and many more. Looking overall at the prestigious lists of people that grace her dock is or spotlighted history, both in works of art, it is undoubted that the Queen Mary retains religious significance worldwide as an iconic landmark. She remains as one of California's premier attractions. This extraordinary ship is no stranger to Hollywood. With an extensive and unsettling past, it has served as a backdrop for over 100 productions and movies in the entertainment industry. However, this vessel possesses hidden depths beyond what may appear on the surface. Today, we'll dive into it by examining the top seven films produced on the Queen Mary alongside their unsettling origin stories. Coming in at number seven is the crime drama L.A. Confidential, which explains corrupt officers investigating multiple cases surrounding murders stretching across 1950s Los Angeles, a captivating crime thriller that follows a pack of crooked police officers as they track down remnants of savage homicides. Usher in with an ensemble cast and a multifaceted convoluted plot, this movie is the ultimate watch for admirers of this genre. Claiming sixth place is the classic American television series, Baywatch, set on the sandy beaches of California and was admired by viewers worldwide for its engaging mix of drama, romance, and exhilarating action. The show's captivating backdrops and beautiful cast aside, it ingeniously tackled essential social issues while showcasing the courage and valor of lifeguards. Coming in at number five, Clint Eastwood brings us Changeling, a haunting drama featuring Angelina Jolie and was filmed partly at the Queen Mary. Observing eerie scenes set within a mental institution, the ship serves as an impeccable backdrop. Claiming fourth place is The Poseidon Adventure, a disaster film from 1972, which showcases the unfortunate capsizing of a luxury ocean liner after being hit by massive waves and entrapping many passengers inside, subsequently leading them to embark on a hazardous journey while retrieving safety. The Queen Mary played out beautifully on screen as SS Poseidon offering its eerie atmosphere, giving suitable effect to dramatic scenes. In third place, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. This visually stunning masterpiece takes us on a captivating journey through the life of a man who ages in reverse. Framed by the majestic deck of Queen Mary, this movie expertly weaves its plot around significant moments in Benjamin Button's life. At number two is Martin Scorsese's critically acclaimed biopic, detailing Howard Hughes' life story in The Aviator. 
The ship takes center stage here. Its Art Deco structure offers immaculate representation for depicting several substantial moments in a 1930s setting. With Hollywood productions flocking to utilize its rich history and architecture as soon-to-be-cherished film locations year on year, it's unsurprising that the Queen Mary has become so beloved among visitors old and new alike. Taking first place is the epic war film Pearl Harbor, directed by Michael Bay. This film's pivotal battle scenes were brought to life using the Queen Mary as a substitute for the USS Arizona. Pearl Harbor portrays the harsh realities of the historical Japanese attack in 1941, leaving unforgettable scars on those who've experienced it. The combination of a miniature USS Arizona and the Queen Mary in the film is commendable, providing an exceptional level of leverage. The Queen Mary has also been featured in numerous TV shows, music videos, and documentaries, solidifying its place as one of the most iconic and versatile filming locations in the world. Now, the latest movie to be set aboard the ship will be the first of a three-part horror film series, dubbed The Queen Mary, directed by Gary Shore, who previously directed the horror film Dracula Untold. The movie is a period piece that features a split narrative between the late 1930s, which was the ship's heyday, as well as the present. Rumors suggest it will be based around supernatural events that have occurred on the ship. One of the concepts they are considering is using the swimming pool as a gateway to different time periods. By utilizing the pool as a sort of portal, the films will transport viewers to various eras of the ship's history while still staying faithful to its past. The story revolves around two families whose lives become violently entangled on board the ship. The film stars Alice Eve from Star Trek Into Darkness, as well as actor Joel Fry from Game of Thrones. The filming of The Queen Mary occurred in November 2021 on the actual ship. An innovative approach, the makers utilized a computer-generated method to project backgrounds onto a wraparound LED screen that was placed behind the actor's movements. This technique allowed for more realistic and immersive scenes throughout their shoot. Although fans eagerly await its release date announcement, horror enthusiasts are in for an exhilarating journey when they eventually see it in theaters. Set upon discovering what horror is yet to be unveiled amidst their voyage on board this infamous vessel. Today, the Queen Mary continues to draw on visitors from all over the world who are keen to examine its refined Art Deco interiors and learn about its rich historical past. As a hotel and admired tourist spot in Long Beach, California, the ship provides an unparalleled encounter that incorporates both extravagant travel with spine-tingling accounts of supernatural activity. Numerous paranormal investigations have been conducted on the Queen Mary, with many people claiming to have encountered the ship's ghost. Visitors can take ghost tours or spend the night in the ship's haunted cabins, hoping for a glimpse of the otherworldly. Some investigators have even captured terrifying evidence of ghostly activity, including shadow figures, chilling EVPs, and unexplained noises. However, entering the Queen Mary is not for the faint of heart, and visitors should prepare themselves for an eerie and potentially unnerving experience. The Queen Mary is a truly unique destination, known both for its haunting paranormal activity and its iconic place in Hollywood history. Despite the many spooky tales that surround it, the ship remains a beloved icon of American history and an emblematic representation of the golden era of ocean travel. Its Art Deco interiors and stunning views have served as the backdrop for numerous movies, including The Poseidon Adventure and Pearl Harbor, making it a popular filming location to this day. However, the Queen Mary's reputation for being haunted is equally captivating, drawing in visitors eager to experience its mysterious energy and unexplained phenomena. Just a mile away from the Queen Mary reside at Pike's Amusement Park, another popular destination in its prime. The park was established in 1902 and boasted a great selection of rides, games, and attractions to entertain visitors for generations. It was renamed Queen's Park in the late 1960s in respect to the arrival of the Queen Mary. However, as time passed on, the amusement park fell into decline and closed in 1979. It was also connected by a network of tunnels in Long Beach beneath the park, where other horror stories emerge. These tunnels were used by employees to move between different areas of the park without being seen by guests, and they were also used for utility purposes such as electrical and plumbing systems. 
Now, adding to the park's creepy allure is an incident that took place just a few years prior to its final closure, where mummified human remains were discovered by a film crew just a mile away from the Queen Mary. Can the dead speak? If not, what if they could send you a message from beyond the grave? A literal message, one that was pulled out of the corpse's mouth. Elmer McCurdy, an unsuccessful criminal, met his demise in 1911 during a shootout with police. His body was preserved with arsenic and exhibited at a funeral home before it ended up being sold to two men who claimed to be related. For the next 65 years, McCurdy's mummified body toured different parts of the United States and was featured in carnivals, haunted houses, and attractions for fun seekers. It became an eerie and grisly spectacle, widely enjoyed by many despite its dark historical context. In 1976, film crew members filming Six Million Dollar Man stumbled upon McCurdy's corpse bearing orange-red hues hanging from a noose inside the Laugh in the Dark Funhouse ride at Pike's Amusement Park, right across from the Queen Mary. They thought it was just a prop until they accidentally knocked off one of his arms, revealing actual human bones. This revelation shocked everyone present leading them to carry out necessary investigations, confirming multiple previous autopsies, along with horrific embalming efforts using crude materials that likely contributed significantly to maintaining its structure over time. In an eerie coincidence, Elmer McCurdy's mummified body was discovered only a mile away from the infamous Queen Mary ocean liner. The Queen Mary, known for its disturbing past and supernatural incidents, has become a site of inexplicable horror as a result of the tragic events that have occurred here. It is understood to be one of the most haunted places in the world. The souls who did not find peace continue to board this vessel, sending shivers down our spine at their ghostly presence. Enter if you dare. Thanks for tuning in to this special episode of the Paranormal Lounge Ghost On Set. We'll see you next time. Remember to hit that subscribe button and follow along for more.